Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it'd be pretty good. Yeah. All right. It looks like we're uh, looks like we're we're liveish. Oh, you didn't even warn me. Well, I was. I thought it'd be I mean, fun if we. Things could have been said. Scandalous things. Scandalous things could have been said, but they weren't. So Ugh. everything's they probably okay-ish. You know. Yeah. I thought it'd be kind of fun to just like start in the middle of a conversation. Oof. You know, like that. One of my favorite favorite podcasts does that. And like, if you join the Patreon, you get the beginning of the conversation, which is like twenty minutes long usually, but. It's like a whole other podcast. We don't have 20 minutes of extra things to talk about. No, God, no. And I don't want to record yeah. things. No, no, no. Hello, hey. Becky. Happy oh, Friday. Becky's listening. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> hey, how's it going, y'all? Happy Friday. I just got in from mowing the lawn. Uh, I've been inside long enough to take a shower. Yeah. So my little red, that's either sunburn because I didn't put on sunscreen Man. But I was wearing... You're going to uh, look so old. Too. Really, like, this bit is all covered because I got a hat on and I got big glasses on. Big glasses. Well, you know, my big sunglass things, you know? So that's like UV uh, protections. Yeah. And then this is mostly beard. So, really, it's just my arms, but I don't feel like I'm sunburned. I don't know. Do I look... Do I look tan? I don't know. You look redder on the screen than you do in person, I will say. Oh, really? Tony is not listening. That's I'm, good. That makes me happy. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's... We got uh, Beth, we got Becky, we got Kevin, we have Tony, but he doesn't know because he's not listening. Rick, yeah. Yep, it's pretty good. Start your day with some sun milk. You know, I've used sun milk before. Isn't that the thing oh, in the little deal? Becky knows what's ta- what's going on with the sun milk. Is that yeah. like a thing you put on all the time? Is it like a sunblock or is it like a face lotion? Sunblock. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the I, sun milk's the one with the white packaging and the the mint top. Yeah, top? yeah, yeah, right. That one. Right. I like that, actually. It's pretty yeah. good. I just don't usually go outside that much. Uh, but today I was like, I mowed, it was like Tuesday, but it had been a couple of weeks at least because I hurt my back and I yeah. couldn't like do anything really. And so the grass was tall enough that Scraggles was getting lost in it. And so I mowed it on like Tuesday. And then today, well, yesterday I started noticing that even through the hay drifts of grass, like grass was growing up through it. So yeah. I mowed it again uh, before the hurricane pushes yeah. some rain at us this yeah. weekend. Right, I week. thought you were swimming or something. Swimming? I thought you were swimming for some reason. Hmm. I could be wrong. Swimming's, swimming's cool. Mm-hmm. I did that thing to my shoulder and I can't really, like, swimming hurts now. Yeah, but, and then you'd have to go someplace. I did cancel my membership, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They canceled that to, to be fair. They canceled that immediately. Like, oh, that's good. Yeah, it was very nice. It was very easy. I sent him an email. It wasn't He's one of back those. From swimming. Yeah. Oh, good. That's good. It's storming there. Oh, that's mm-hmm. got to be unrelated to that hurricane. It can't. It hasn't come up this far yet. Um, mm-hmm. My mom. I hope everybody watching. Is, I mean, if you're watching this, I hope you're safe yeah, and sound. Yeah, I mean, you're otherwise you've got like... other stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I hope your families and stuff are good. We've. Uh, uh, my my mom and my sister are down in uh, on the coast of Texas. But they're like kind of in between Houston and Galveston, so they're pretty. Yeah, uh, they were safe from this one, thank goodness. Yeah. Um, but that part of Texas is actually better able to take a storm, I think, than where it actually hit. Uh, I don't know, but uh, mm-hmm. I think it did some serious damage. So my parent, my mom, and my sister are safe. We're good in North Carolina. It's going to go above us mostly. Is it? Yeah. So yeah. Brian mm-hmm. here will get more of it than we will. Uh, let's see. Back from swimming, we swim at our friend's house when they're not using their pool. Nice. That sounds really nice. Audrey's been wanting to get a uh, like a kiddie pool for Scraggles. Yeah. And the daycare <laughs> she goes to, like once a week, they have a couple pools. Like one is bone shaped and uh, <laughs> it's funny. And they, they have pictures every day and they always have the labs and the golden retrievers freaking mm. love water and they're I hear always, Scraggles likes it too I don't believe it every picture they take of her she just looks unhappy and just sort of shy and so we're like is she really having fun and they Actually, claim she's having fun funny story about that from this week though huh. remember the picture that you showed me the first this week yes so the, they take pictures and stuff like throughout yeah. the day it seems but one of the pictures <laughs> they did they caught Scraggles peeing and, and they never show things like that. Like, <laughs> they're good about that. And so, like, they never show that. And out of all the pictures, it has to be Scraggles. And there's just one other dog in the picture. Yeah. It's not like there's a yeah. lot of things nope. going on and then Scraggles no. peeing. It's, it's just Scraggles just, peeing. Basically, they were just like, oh, she's peeing. Let's just go ahead and take a picture. <laughs> and she's not distracted. She's distracted so she won't, she won't like, you know, look yeah. weird. And then the next picture, she looks so happy with herself. 
Like she, she's like I trotting along with some beagle. Two pictures and let them see. Well, like that's embarrassing. Beagle, maybe it's a bloodhound. I don't know, some I kind of remember. big houndy I, type. Critter. But I took the pictures and showed Mike because I was like, they were funny. Poor Strag's dignity. I don't think she minded. She honestly. looked super happy with herself. I mean, <laughs> even like they said, "Good girl," and so she was. But no, well, it was a different it dog Facebook around because it was close enough. Um, it was a different dog around her, so it wasn't right after. No, it was right after. It was the same dog. I we'll, don't. Uh, we'll see. It, I don't think it was. What day was that? Was that Monday? Oh, you wait. Yeah, you're right. It is the same dog. Here. I, oh, that's okay. That'll work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So there's those craggles and basset hound maybe. It's is a it basset, a basset? Yeah, it's a basset yeah, hound. Yeah, so a basset hound. Uh, and then the next picture, nope, that's not it. That's my you? hand showing if I'm flexible on my fingers. Yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> and then this is the next picture. She and that basset are just like so happy. She is never that happy in a picture. Oh. She sees a camera and she's like, oh no, this is the worst. What have I done? So yeah, 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 that's her oh. and her basset hound friend. And this is her peeing. Well, we don't have to zoom in on that. But no, we have to zoom in on it. <laughs> this is Scraggles peeing right there. <laughs> we thought this was this. You thought this was a safe, uh, family safe. Uh, it's thing. not. Look, everybody pees. That's Scraggles safe. is very proud of herself, and I'm and proud she's like, of her. Look, that, I'm done. <laughs> uh, yeah, Louisiana got hammered. Yeah, absolutely. That's for yeah. sure. So we have our neighbors, neighbors have inflatable pools this summer, and they set them up in the driveway. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's um, yeah. There's a house down the block here that usually puts an above ground pool. They have like uh, an yeah. extra parking area next yeah. to their garage, and they put that up there in the summer. I haven't yeah. seen it this year though, actually. I don't. I don't think I've seen it either. Get your butt away from my coffee, you weirdo. What? I know. Hey, there um, we go. Cattail on. Just realized it's Friday. Hello, everyone. Hey, you fed. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing okay down there. It's a rough time of year to be in the tropics. You see a box to be unned. Uh, there, there is. is. There is a box to be un. There's uh, lots of things to show today. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, I did a video on the stuff that we got from Crazy Allens, but I mean, probably people missed it. Um, and I did a uh, a brief Instagram live stream actually from yeah. there. Yeah. Did you keep that up? Does it stay? You know. You can keep it in your highlights thing, so it will show up. You can put whenever, it on Instagram right? TV as what they do with the long ones. Yeah. And Katie uh, says she wants to open the package. Let me actually make sure that it got kept. But yeah, if hopefully he can keep it. I yeah, it did. It got it okay, got good. kept. So, um, <laughs> this is this is us and our masks. We went to Crazy Allens. Uh, it was uh, it was a good time. It's a good time. We went out to the we went out to the mall last Sunday, which is we haven't been to a um, uh, a mall in I don't know I how mean, long. I mean, when we say we went to the mall, we went to three stores and went. Like, we're in yeah. and out of there. Yeah, yeah. But what? it was actually a pretty good environment. Like, it was way better than I was expecting. People were wearing masks. I Yeah, I didn't see anyone not wearing a mask. And um, there was, like, that one little kid that, like, kept taking his mask down. But, like, aside from that, it was I fine. Mean, yeah. um, the Lego store was militant about yeah, how many people the they Lego let in. So you, you, you can show that. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, I'll go grab that, actually. So we went to the Lego store. and <laughs> in here. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> we, we have lots of green chairs here. Um... They were only allowing five people in the store at a time. So, I mean, it was dead in there. And they had, everyone had to be distanced outside. So that wasn't too bad. And then I would say the worst place, but it still wasn't bad. But we went to Bath and Body Works because they had one thing that we wanted to get. So we were in and out of there. And then we went to Lush. And they were not allowing anybody in the store. And they had just cashiers on the front. And you just sort of order what you wanted to them and they would go pick it up for you. You know, the funny part of that story was actually Lego was letting six people in. Oh. But they were so strict about the six people that they had like this group that wanted to come in. They're like, like you have five people, people in the store, or... one of you can come in. Or like, or yeah. you'll have to wait. And they're like, but we don't want to like, one of you can come in with six. That's it. Yeah. So, so they were like enforcing that. that. Yep. Um, so I've I actually got a few other things. I, should, I guess I could show these even though I'm going to send them back, I yeah. think. But... Um, so this hello, is what I got. The, hello, ugh. Gabriel. This is what I'm I got at the Lego here. store. Try not to hit you with it. I can't really see you over there. Yes. Uh, yeah, there we go. This, this is, thing. This is how big this thing is. Yeah. This is. It's it's huge. This is a big box, and it's actually pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> and we got so. that first because we just want to make sure it didn't sell out because it sold out online, yeah, yeah. and they that's the main reason why we went to the it's mall. Really, it's it's just, really the thing that yeah. made us go. Yeah. So my birthday's coming up is my excuse. Uh, for this thing. Audrey talked me into it. Um, these are not cheap. It was a couple hundred bucks. But it's also 
It's huge. And How many pieces is it? 2,000 and something. I don't know. 2,646 pieces. So it is the uh, classic Ness uh, and a TV. Uh, it has like a cartridge that you build. Yep. And then the TV is like, this is kind of what got me to do it. If it was just the Ness and the TV, I'd be like, okay, that's cool. But like, whatever. The TV has a crank over here and you can crank the thing around and it will play Super Mario, uh, the original one, uh, Super Mario Brothers 1-1, one, one, which is the first level. And then there's the Mario on top. Yeah, there's like yeah. a little Mario you can put oh, on it top. Show it. Yeah, it doesn't have it on here. I don't, I don't know. know. It's not on the other side either. I wonder if it comes with this. Maybe is it's it, separate. Is it separate? Well, there's know. a separate. Well, I don't know. There's a little hmm. Mario that sits on top, and he reacts to what's going on on the screen. Yeah, so as you crank it, like you know, it moves oh, the so Mario. That's well, that's actual size. Never mind. I thought it was. It looked like that, but no. Yeah. So anyway, this is, uh, I'm going to, I, I want to build it on, on a stream, like do it on a, uh, like a Twitch stream or something like that. And then like later maybe edit it and post it to, to YouTube. YouTube. But it's been like a week. And honestly, this week has been, this has been, I don't know why, but it's been one of those weeks. It's like very stressful and full of stuff. Like I had tons was, of meetings. It was a and, long week. Yeah. But it, it also felt like a long week. It felt long, but also like there wasn't any time for anything. It was one of those. Yeah. So. So I haven't done it yet, um, but I uh, I plan to do that. So if you haven't subscribed to my Twitch, do that. It's uh, twitch.tv slash And Yeah, I Mike. keep on asking when you're going to start building. <sighs> I know, and I just haven't done it yet. Um, but I will. It's going to happen. That's the answer. You're going. Yeah, you will. I'm going. I'm, I'm super psyched about it. It's also kind of a daunting project. Like, it's big. I'm going to have to do it in sections because... Yeah, and I mean, they have them separated based on mm -hmm. what they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We watched like a... A piece of a build a while ago and I was like oh yeah there's some cool stuff in there so we'll do that uh so I got that and then like you said we went to Lush where else did we go Bath and Body Works. oh yeah, yeah. we were like where is Bath and Body Works? I mean just like turned and it was right there turned right the corner there. it was massive yeah. yeah oh Jacob you're out of September huh nice what September are you Speaking of things to do, Egyptian snacks? Yeah, we do have Egyptian snacks. We do. Um, maybe we do those this weekend, like a Sunday maybe? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we'll see uh, We'll see how it goes, but maybe a Sunday. It's a little special Sunday stream for Egyptian snacks. Have you been spoiled? Maybe. Uh, I am... I don't... I couldn't tell you any of the things that I looked over, but I... There was nothing I'm like... Oh, this whole thing's gonna be terrible. Okay, good. So it sounds interesting and good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right, that sounds good. I'm, I'm into it. If you're into it, then I'll be mm. fine, likely. Yeah. Um, you set the send the Lego set to you. You'll have it together for you in two hours. Mm. I like. I'm very good at Lego, honestly. That's, I don't know. That's that's some is, hubris right there. I don't know if I ever believe two hours. For maybe. That. I mean, I don't know. But I kind of doubt it. This is a very, like, the inside of that TV has, like, a whole mechanical structure with a thing that goes around. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I don't know. I don't really know how long it takes. But I guess we'll see. I'll yeah. try doing it on stream. Yeah. Maybe it's only two hours. But that's 2,000 pieces. That'd be how many pieces per minute? Yeah, I'm not mathing. I'm reading. You're not mathing? All right, you read. I'll math real quick. Cause I know I'm curious. Friday, it's um, raining in Colorado. And it is in the upper 90s. It's in the 90s here. I mean, yeah, it's pretty hot for Colorado. Though, for Colorado, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, it's definitely in the 90s here and quite yeah, humid. It is humid here today, um, too. Divided by two hours, what, 120 minutes? That's 22 pieces a minute, which is, I mean, doable. If I mean, you're, if you're it's pretty practicing, quick. yeah. And if you've got it, like, all, all separated and organized, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, Becky's been spoiled because she's been looking for the boy boing in the Universal <laughs> Yums. So and they spoilers. show on the Instagram feeds. Man, I that's the thing. If you looked at my Facebook, it changes like once a week based on me searching something. So I'll get oh, really? it. Yeah. The other thing I got this week was I, I went to two doctor's appointments. I went to the teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually said my gums are looking good. Like they're looking better than before. Oh, like, that's yeah, good. It was nice. It was, little, it was cool. Uh, I get to have a filling redone that's fun mm -hmm. uh and then i went to the optometrist because i'm tired of wearing glasses with masks it's, it, it sucks like yeah. it, it was fun like the, the, the optometrist office was kind of weird because it kept fogging up the things you're trying to look through yeah and she's like look i'll just step back mostly and just like yeah <laughs> so it's fun yeah. um but uh i also want, i want to get contacts and if i'm getting contacts and i need sunglasses 
Because my only sunglasses for not for like contact use are yeah. decades old Oakleys that are kind of too small for my bigger head. Mm-hmm. Um, LASIK is your friend. I don't know. Maybe one of these days. I am considering. I would love that. I mean, I think this I would is too. My, based on my eyes and. I think yeah. that they would be a good candidate for it. Yours seem to only get better over time. Mine get like slightly worse, but they degrade fairly Emily, slowly. I see you out there. Thank you. I think the deal with LASIK though is that like I'm nearsighted, so if I get LASIK, then I won't be able to read things near. I'll need reading glasses, and that might be more annoying than just wearing glasses. Well, that happened to my dad because he yeah. had cataracts, uh... and so he had the sur- surgery for that, and then. His eyesight was really bad, but once he got the cataracts taken out, it basically became perfect, except for now he needs to have um, reading glasses. Like, I've never in my life had to have reading glasses. No, I do. Um, So I went to this place called Gooder that uh, a friend of mine suggested, and I was like, these glasses look dope, and they're pretty inexpensive, and so I wanted to give them a shot. Uh, I just want to put it together, you know, sure you can get the wife to approve the purchase. I get it. I was surprised Audrey was so into it, but she loves Mar- She loves. Mario. I'm a huge Mario fan. I watch lots of Mario yeah. Maker um, streamers. Yeah. So I was like, "What if I just get this uh, giant Star Wars set?" She's like, "No, that's silly." But Mario, that thing was like five hundred dollars. <laughs> it was. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> so. over double. So decades of issues with your eyes, including retina detachments. Yikes, oh, man! Lasik yeah. about five years ago. One of the best decisions ever made. Yeah, very cool. Um, next time I see, oh yeah, let's see, ink guy, at least it gives him permanent head years fixed yeah. 20 years age and just started using reading glasses. So have you, oh, 20 years ago, probably. Yeah. Well, that's pr- like 20 years is pretty good. I mean, good. yeah. Like I, if I get 20 years out of it, that'd be, I'd be in my sixties. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. yeah that'd be pretty and then thing. it takes time to get bad. I mean, yeah, it's right. not like, oh, he's one day it's, it's terrible. Saying like 20 years. Yeah. So that's pretty good. So I got these. And these are like 25, 30 bucks a piece. So they're not very expensive. They're just regular sunglasses. They are all polarized. Um, and I was like, let's try these out because they have a good return policy. And it turns out I'm going to re- be returning them for various reasons. But um, new lenses for cataracts can correct both near and far vision. More glasses. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, interesting. They can correct it? Wow, that's really, that's really interesting. Yeah. Eyes continue to progress just like reset for your eyes. Yeah, that's right. Wife has seen me a couple of custom masks that keep your glasses from fogging if you put them on properly. Oh, that's nice. I haven't... I Mike haven't. has issues finding a mask that works for him <sighs> My, in many this, different ways. It's like big dumb face. It's hard to, hard to fit. So these are these are the, the first ones. And I actually started looking at the site because I saw these and I'm like, these are pretty dope. Now I can't really see my face, but... Yeah. But the thing is, like, the blue lenses really... They're really weird. And there's a lot of space in here. But these are actually made mm-hmm. for like biking and obstacle yeah. course racing and stuff like that. So they stick to your face really well and they're polarized. But like, if yeah. I'm going to keep one, I might keep these. I don't know. Let me see them. I'll, I'll wear them too. I bet people see me in them. Take off this thing. Yeah, you actually look really, I think, pretty cool in those. Yeah, I think that's a look. I dig it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just keep those and give them to Audrey. Because <laughs> they're good. And they're polarized, so they're nice for driving. And... Yeah, it looked super weird when I was looking at certain angles. Right? Like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you turn your head this way, like, the screens black yeah. out. And then these are the other ones, because I got to do, like, orange and blue seems like a good thing for me. But they're huge. Like, these are very big. And the biggest problem is I get a lot of glare, like, reflection on the inside of the lenses from out here. And so it's actually very hard to see through them. So if I had a bigger face, I think these would work better. Yeah. Or just get the smaller version of them. But they these, like, really... These aren't coming off, yep. which I, I really like. Ooh, have, my stomach is growling. Hi, Scraggles. Nice grippy things in the temples there and she the, is. the nose deal. So, I mean, if you have a big face, grab these. Um, but uh, if you have a smaller face, actually have a smaller version. Uh, so I might, maybe I'll just like trade them for a small version. I don't know. I don't know. It's not fair. You look cool and everything. <laughs> well. Scraggles, what are you doing? Come on. Just jump up here. I know you can jump up on this side. Yeah, let me move this giant box. She doesn't approve of that. She doesn't. Right. Come on up. Where are my glasses? Come I on. can't see anything. Come on. She uh, did one up here. Cool sunglasses? I agree. Who wears it best? Audrey. That's that's always true. Also, another thing about Audrey, if I can brag on my wife for a second here, is that she looks really good in hats, which is... So listen, 
that's never going to happen again. The the most traumatic day on the um, live streams happened when I was wearing a hat. So no hats are going to be worn again. Well, that's, I mean, just like in general, you know, you're good at hats. Uh, look for some motorcycle glasses that curve match the face. Yeah, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just get some, I always get some new lenses for my prescription Oakleys mm -hmm. and then like find some sunglasses like um, in person instead of trying to mail order them. That's, I've got a, I feel like I've got a weird shaped head or something. I don't know. Masks don't fit it. Glasses are weird. Yeah. That said, I did find a pair of glasses that I really want at the uh, optometrist place. Always. You can't, it is, you can't look there. That place is dangerous. My mom even found a pair of glasses that looked awesome on her, and she is more picky than I am, yeah, I think. Yeah, she's picky, I'm sure. I feel like my mom's had the same pair of glasses for 40 years. Did Scraggles get dog, International Dog Day treats? She got all kinds of Dog Day treats. If you happen to watch our Philippines uh, Yum Box, she really enjoyed these little crackers that are, what were they, banana... Coconut Banana coconut. Something. Yeah, she loves she those. She loved those. So we gave her one of those. Even though they're not dog treats, but they yeah. were really sweet. And they didn't have anything that could hurt her. She got that. And then she always gets, um, they're called whimsies. Mm. And she she gets those for her dental shoes. So she's always yeah. excited about those. So and we, somebody we'll actually spoil her a little bit. Somebody actually sent me a uh, uh, an email with a bunch of like dog treat suggestions. And so we tried oh, some of those that's out. that's right. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did. So we yeah. have some of those as well. Uh, Julie likes the orange ones better on me than the white ones. Hmm. I think so, too. I really? Think, yeah, I think... Maybe I should just get some, like, try smaller orange ones just to see if they'll trade. Uh, you can send them back. It's fine. Why do you want smaller ones? Because those are too big. Like, I don't feel like they're well, huge on I my get, face, and they, I have a smaller face. They stick out enough that like a bunch of light gets in the back and oh. bounces off the lenses. Oh. And so like so the it's reflection... it's not really visually. It's, it's something... Like, I can't external see... External so... factors that mess it up. Uh, yeah, like I can't see through the lens because there's so much reflection. Like when you're driving in a car at night and you turn yeah. on the lights and you can't see, yeah. it's the same thing. Um, but these are the ones that I found at the optometrist. Oh, little Tina. Which are like cobalt blue on the outside. They're kind of tortoise shelly on the inside. They have a different situation going on in there. Oh, hey, Laura. We got but... we got some mods in here. We have Claire and Laura here. Hey, Claire and Laura the mods. Sorry, it's sort of hard to read those. Oh, the names? Yeah. Because the blue? Yeah. Uh, the orange ones are nice. Yeah, no, I think they are cool. Um, but yeah, the motorcycle ones are, those are usually pretty good because, I mean, the yeah. wind can't tear them off your face, yeah. you know. Uh, but these are like, like I said, made for OCR, which is very energetic and running and jumping and stuff. So they stick to your face real good. Um, Scrape to dog day treats. Yep, IRL hats can happen. Yeah, I think so too. Hello, pin people. Hey, Tina, what's up? Can I put the orange ones? I just put them away. Uh, but you can find them on Gooder. G O O D R dot com. Uh, and these are called, I know it's the wrong ones. They have fun names too. This is That Orange Crush Rush. The smaller version are called Donkey Goggles, which I think are pretty hilarious. That is funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, and these are, uh, these are called Coffee Shop Seat Sweats. The idea is like when you go to a coffee shop and you just like gotten there on your bike or whatever and you're kind of hot, you sit in one of those like coffee shop seats and you get up and you see like the butt print, the butt print and the yeah. steam or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Which, like, they have a little story about their names on all of them, which I think is... Yeah. <laughs> the package was, was a dread, like, the the, uh, the return address was Carl the Flamingo, who's, like, their mascot and CEO. Uh, oh. <laughs> pretty amazing. Wow. Does all their CS. Carl's a busy bird. Bit, obviously. I know. I know. So there's those. Um, but I've got this shoal that I want to unpack. Yeah, well, the, we can ask, do you want to do the unboxing first, or do you want to do the haul from Crazy Allen's? Oh yeah, y'all want to see uh, y'all want to see washi tape or you want to see? My guess uh, is gonna be the see... unboxing is my guess. But... I think so too. Yeah, y'all want to see washi tape or you want to see uh, see pens? They're not fountain pens mostly, but we got oh, a fountain pen. A fountain pen. <laughs> this whole time we're no two. We got two fountain pens. We did. We got Alami and oh yeah, where did I put that? My Kakuno. I. Forgot about that. Yeah, washi tape. Obviously, we got some. We got some washi tape that we really want to see. That's amazing so far. Uh, Already lost stuff. Well, look, my office is in extreme disarray at the moment. Uh, I think part of it was that I was like, it hurt too much to pick anything up, oh, and so things would hit the ground, and I couldn't see. bend over to pick it up. 
Yeah, that was my excuse. All right, well, let's get in that. Uh, let's get in that washi tape, y'all. Uh, there we go. All right. So it came in a priority mail envelope, which I'll cover this up. It says two days. It took a solid six days to get oh, here. Of course. Yep. Solid six days, but like I Where really are they like this. Out of California, they're in Union City, Colorado, Colorado, California. Yeah, well, yeah. It did have pretty far to go. It has this fun shoal sticker on there, which yeah. I think is cool. Why am I in pain? Oh, now I'm fine. I hurt my back last week, Julie. That's what I did. Uh, I was picking up an envelope that fell on the floor and wrecked my back for a week. Yeah. It's so good, the shoal washi, washi, good. They taped around the corner, so it's hard to open. Mm -hmm. They did it properly then. If it's hard for you to open it, they did well. Well, don't these have like a strip you're supposed to pull? I guess this Yeah, one, but you tape it. I guess this doesn't. You do? Yeah. Well, that's would, annoying. No. <laughs> it has a seam. It's gonna... It's, yeah. All right, so it's packaged in these little... These little guys. Little bags. Yeah. Little bags with uh, squids on them. How fun is that? Squid bags. All right. Uh, sorry to hear about the back. Glad you're feeling better. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It's something I injured a long time ago, and then every once in a while, I'll do something that'll just aggravate it. So, totally fine. All right. So, oh, hey. All right. So, here. Uh, we got some washi tapes. What's this? Oh, I thought it was going to be a packing slip, but it is not. It is a little shop shoal thing. Oh, graphic. Very nicely uh, foiled, yeah. You got your uh, your goblin shark up here, and your angler yeah. fish, and yeah. your vampire squid, yeah. uh, and your narwhales, a yes. frogfish or a stonefish down there, weedy sea dragon, Audrey's favorite. I do love the weedy sea dragon. And I got a blue ring octopus sticker. Did you buy that or? I don't it... remember. Okay. It's been a long time. Let me uh, let me see. Let me pull up my mail. <laughs> uh, it could be up on the other one or the pack if there is. Maybe they didn't do one. It's true. I don't know. Um, here we go. You got a cephalopod sticker. Cephalopod sticker pack, yeah. Oh. So far, I've only found one. Maybe they sort of split it. They must have split it up between mm. things. So, yeah, I bought that. Cephalopod sticker pack was not very expensive. But that's a very nice looking cephalopod. Yeah. The blue ring octopus. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Sticker was gratis. You got one, too? Oh, maybe I got two of them, then. Oh. Well. Yeah. But I did buy a sticker pack, so. Gratis. Grats. You know, it rhymes with something also funny. Technically, they're cephalopods. Huh. All right. So these, I may have gotten a lot of washi tapes. Let's just open the other one what? up for funsies, too. Let's see. Well, look. You're off camera now. I know. Okay. There's that. And that. Stacking washies to the sky. Yeah, a lot of washi. So yeah, there was some some sticker was free I, as I ordered three of them in the pack. So I don't know, oh. remember which ones are in the pack, but uh, I have this fun Nautilus. I like Nautilus. Right? Yeah. And then this guy, I don't know, some kind of uh, octopus, octopus variety. Octopus looking thing, yeah. Uh, well, he's definitely an octopus. I just don't know yeah. what kind. And then this one is a Dumbo octopus. That's fun. Because he's got those ears. Yep, gotta have those ears. Those are uh, those are fun stickers. I like them. All right, stickers indeed. What do you what do you do with the washi tape? You can do so Look many things. It. Oh, I was asked <laughs> the same question by somebody recently. I was like, I don't even know what the point of washi tape is. Oh. No, I no, I yeah, yeah. me, no, but I know. people people wonder. Well, it's sort of a paper tape, so it's kind of yeah. like a masking tape, I guess, yeah. is the way to think of it. Yeah, I use it for decorating things. Like I use it when I send letters, put on envelopes and things like that. You yes. can use it in journals and planners and things as well. There's the cephalopod washi tape, which is totally fun. That's fun. It's got foily bits in there, you can see. Yeah. It's not too clear either. No, no. A lot of, sometimes washi tape is too hard, is too clear, and you can just like see through it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but what do I do with it? I uh, When I send letters and things, I use it to decorate stuff. I put it in planners, uh, things of that nature. Um, I actually, I didn't have very much. I lost it for a while. I couldn't find it. It was my bag of washi tapes. Yeah. It took me so long to find this. It had fallen back behind of things. Yeah. It was gone. But I found it, so we're good. So, yep, got cephalopods. has several nice squid-type critters. Very cool. 
Uh, wash is it pretty? Yeah, it is pretty. Do you pretty. want me to open them up and hand them to you? Uh, yeah, okay. You think Scraggles will be alright with that? I mean, she can deal with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this packaging is fun too. Yeah. Yeah, these are a nice little box. <laughs> these are a nice little box. Are they all yep. the same? Um, yeah, they are all the same. But yeah, you can see it on the outside, which is nice. Then, let's see. Where's the end? Just one bag of washi? No, I got two bags of washi. So I dumped the other one out off campus. Uh, off campus, off campus. Wow. <laughs> My brain, I tell ya. This one is uh, all kinds of large beetles and such. Interesting. With That's where it starts to repeat. No, those are beetles just flying. Yeah, it's just flying beetles. Some yep. flowers. Got some Goliath beetles and some Rhinosaurus beetles. Uh, I don't know what a lot of these beetles are, yeah. actually. Who was this from? This was from uh, Shoals, shopshoal.com. Uh... S-H-O-A-L, Shoal. Yeah. Um, there we go. No, I can't read that. How about this one? Mm. I kind of read that. Let me angle it. There. Shopshoal.com. Somebody will link it. There we go. That's good. Yep, so I got beetles. Let me finish wrapping this up correctly. I got off track just a little bit. Oh no. Well, I can't uh, I can't waste it, you know. No. It's like a dollar right there. <laughs> well. The other one went back uh, there we go. Now I've got it. Now I've got it. Good. This riveting. Look, that's why they that's thing. why they pay me the big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Next. I think that's one of your favorites. Yeah, I actually, this is the one that made me go to the page in the beginning, uh, was bees. Look at all these fun bees. The foil's really good, not too much. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's really good. Thanks, Claire. There's the link for you, Greg. And everybody else. Oh, you get washi tape of roaches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget, you, you also got the mug, which we showed last week. Oh, I did. Yeah, I got the, uh, nice the dignified birds with the blue-footed booby and the ahoo yeah. or whatever. But yeah, I really like this bees. These bees are nice. It's good. Do they have an amb ambassador per uh, affiliate link or something so we can get some? <laughs> I don't know, but I think uh, I think I should be getting a kickback. Here goes another one. <laughs> I may have gotten like seven rolls of washi tape, y'all. You really my fa oh, you want more pets? I'm sorry. I'm, and there's this I'm one. Here. There's this one, which is like the deep. So we have some kind of uh, gaping mouth fish over here. Some gaping mouth. Fish. There's a name for that fish, and I can't remember it, so I'm just going to not say it. Okay. Uh, we have a squid and a vamp uh, vampire squid, which is like a uh, another type of squid. A goblin shark, which is a fun-looking shark with a pointy nose. A little Dumbo octopus. A barrel-head fish. we got an angler. we got a sea jelly. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, that's a Greenland shark. Look at that. Angler fish? No, it's not an angler fish. Um, angler fishes have a little... Uh, well, they're kind of round, and they have an angler. Like a little Hashtag bait. relatable. <laughs> regret not getting that one? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I knew that if I didn't get one, I was just going to regret it. So yeah. I went ahead and I was like, fine, whatever. They're only a few bucks a piece. I think I that might be the one that I sort of convinced you, because you're like, oh, I'm not going to get that one. I'm like, I was sort of shocked. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you're right. Hi. Where's the front of this one? There you go. Oh, no. Hi. I'm I'm working scraggles. I will I will pet ah. your dog face in just a minute, okay? Uh, what was the sticker with the shell? That's a uh, that's a nautilus right there. And here's another one. I cannot get this one open. That says you're a spirit animal, the more I eel. Did you break a nail? Uh, Calm down over there. Bad. I can't open that one. Goodness. I'm having issues. I guess. Uh, we have um I love the more I eel. Yep. We have some rays, some clownfish, a turtle. Uh, looks like some uh, uh, sea slugs. Some would say it's amore for more. <laughs> they would. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like you didn't enjoy that. <laughs> Hashtag dad jokes. Yep. And then there's uh, some uh, seahorses. No sea, no weedy sea dragons on this one. Oh, mm -hmm. Look at the foil on this. Actually, it's very yeah. nice foil. That's good stuff. You had a problem getting, Beth had a problem getting into the boxes, too. Yeah, the other ones are okay, but man, this one, whew. Yeah, boxes are always like that. It's tough to get into. All right. That one. I will give this one the old college try. Thank you. Why did you only put this one away? 
I did. Did I? Yeah. It's one we've already seen. Yeah. You put it back in. I don't know. I can't get this one open either. <laughs> it's not just you. All right. Well, break out tools. Banned for punning. Well, I'll allow it. Oh wait, there. maybe we didn't. I didn't think Let so. Let me see. Did you do this one? No, I haven't done that one. No. Accusing me of things. Oh, my Speciously. nails still hurting. Oh yeah, this is one that's super fun. This is another one that made this me go. This is one that you immediately was like, yep, I'm getting it. It's got tape ears and it's got a little, uh, some kind of critter right there, which might be a pangolin. I don't it actually might, know. I think that's what you thought it was a pangolin. Well, there's a pangolin here for oh, sure. Oh, so maybe, no. And then that guy, I don't know what that is. It looks like a quoll, but I don't know, I'm going to say for now it's a quoll. I don't know what this guy is called. I can't remember with like the zebra butt. Yeah, I don't remember. There's an elephante. There's a sloth. Oh, it's a sloth. There are um, tapirs. Okapi. Okapi. That's it. Mm. Nailed it. Look at you. These little guys are cute. They're called tree vampires. They bite into trees and eat the sap. What? With their primate teeth. Wow. I know. But like, how fun is this sloth, right? A very fun sloth. I think you considered not getting this one too, but like, come on. <laughs> come on now. You're like, come on. You you want it? Succulents. Oh yeah, I almost. This is one I almost didn't get. See, now don't you regret that? I would have regretted it. Look at this guy right here. That is yeah. so uh, like a gold foil around the edge. That's really nicely done. You got a good eye. The site shop show is uh, basically two uh, female artists. artists or illustrators, yeah. Yeah, and they had uh, they had separate stores and i guess they decided to join forces is the story on the website look at that look at this guy it's all foily yeah but yeah this is uh oh you had one of these i think or looked at one of those it's one of those like fat ones with like the red tops yeah kalancho or a certain type uh, probably like they're all kalanchos right i really right? want to get one that is like the um the ones with the little tubes oh, yeah. if you're interested in succulents or sedums etc I recommend, or I they have a good variety. It's Mountain Crest mm. Gardens. Is is it just Mountain Crest? If you search Mountain Crest, yeah, they're in California. They have so much, and they have little pots, and they're very good price. And if you sign up for the newsletter, they're always giving away or having uh, discounts for the newsletter people. And they don't send that many emails out either. It's not one of those daily ones where you you know those places. Oh yeah, those are the worst. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's our uh, that's our shop shoal haul. Anyone? Anyone? What are your favorites? What are your favorites? I asked you first. Um, I, I mean, I obviously like the sloth one and the bee one a whole lot. I think those are a lot of fun. Are they ogre ears? Maybe. I can't remember the name of them, but I really, I really like them. The tube ones. Tubes. Yep. Uh, and like the forest one with the pangolins. It Those are my gardens. favorites. Th Claire, you're on it. Thank you. <laughs> eh. Why am I putting these back in the boxes? Is there a good reason for that? No, because it's going to be difficult to take it out. Favorites, bees in the deep sea. Those are good ones. I... I used to not enjoy bees. I really like the bee one. Like my retro, one of my favorite ones is mm -hmm. the B one. Yeah, this goes really nicely with that retro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like the octopuses and cephalopods a whole lot. That one's nice too. Yeah. I think the deep sea one is fun because it's so it's different. It's so individual. Yeah. Like they're not all mixed together like yeah. this one. So like this one, you could take one snip and be like, just like have just a goblin shark. That could be the, the other illustrator. Oh, it could be a different style. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's just because they know. did have different things that they both brought to the table at that time when they came together yeah oh she says i'm out there here's the ones we have <laughs> so yeah i really like the uh like the forest animals the beetles one is really it's like surprisingly fun too i don't know it's hard to pick favorites out of things um, that you like, yeah, like i like all I mean, of them so yeah. but i mean i like the ones you don't see very often so things like yeah. tapirs and pangolins and stuff like who even knows what a pangolin is before uh covid <laughs> you did i definitely did yeah it's been like one of my usernames for a long yeah. time so yeah i like those oh i made this too far away and leaning over yeah is... you really are yeah. 
Hello, Chubby. What's this? Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about this. I didn't even notice ah. it was sitting there. This is the only, this is the other thing we got. Oh, that's right. Pizza I cat. I forgot pizza cat. It's like Mr. No's eating pizza. <laughs> it is. It is. Which he does try and get like sauce, anything that's left on a plate. He's like, maybe I want to like this. So it is sort of nose like. Yeah. Just needs more, he's more black, but. Oh, and you got an imperfect one, didn't you? I think I did get a, so a second. So I'm curious what they, what they considered a seconds, you know? I don't know. I'm looking around Do it. Do you see anything that's obvious? Like, oh, this is why. But they were like at least a buck cheaper. Oh, they, were, they were more than that. Yeah, Basically, they were quite a bit yeah. cheaper. I think these are usually like 12 bucks or something. And I think this 10. was... No, no, it was less than that. It was like six eight. or eight, I think. Hmm. It was not very expensive. But yeah, this is the second and I don't see a single thing wrong Can with I it. See it. Yeah, totally. Here you go. Yeah. So that was the other thing. So yeah, I liked it. Nice pin. Thanks. I like it. I think it's fun. I like pins. I've actually got a board of pins up here that yeah, got a red octopus off their second sales, and I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, I. A lot of times, like. <laughs> a lot of things I think go into the uh, Franklin Christoph seconds bin because Audrey will find like a bent corner or, like. Some imperceptible thing. She's that... like, nope, not perfect, not sending it. So yep. I have some I have some like pen rests and stuff that are like that that I like a whole lot, but there's just like a little like tiny little dent area. Not dent. No, like no. a dent sometimes. Yeah. So like this one. I really like it, but there's like this weird divot thing right here where like there must have been a bubble or like something touched it. And so it's like I'm not gonna sell it because it's got a it's got a defect. There's a yep. couple like that. Yeah. Um, but no, I get it. Like you just want to send out your best stuff, you know. Yeah. Not, but there's nothing wrong with that. It seems fine. I was very tempted by the red octopus too, but I was like. Yeah, Becky said she got one of those and didn't see anything wrong with it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Makes. I'm not surprised. But I like these stickers. I think they're a good size for things too. Yeah, because sometimes so. you'll get the stickers that are like, you know, that big and. I mean, oh yeah, I've got some giant stickers, do do? like the ones from um, BioWorks. That's right. Like that's those things right. are like this big, yeah. and they're awesome for some stuff. Like I'll put them on a mug or something, and, and they wrap that around. Takes yeah, and it's but, perfect for that. But if you're gonna like put it on your your laptop case or something, it's gonna dominate the whole scene. Yeah, so. Claire, exactly. There's just and when you work with that thing for so much, your ability to see any imperfection is heightened. You know, so yeah. I'm used to looking at paper or things and leather and seeing you know things that are seconds worthy and some people mm. might not even notice right it, yeah feta shared this shoal store with some illustrator friends and they love it so there's going to be some tape going to costa rica wow that's awesome nice that's i'm cool. really happy about that claire do you have pen wraps that you're trying to sell because i've got one over here i will show if yeah um if you're I mean, selling them still a couple too are yeah, those yeah. the ones that you have uh no i just have one in that box right oh. there well, I have um, a few in the other room, too. She doesn't have any. I don't really want to, like, tease people with a thing they can't get. But, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know if you have some stuff you're trying to sell. I will, uh, I will, I'll tell people. Because your pen wraps are great. Oh, yeah. They're really nice. All right. All Not right, that's all the moment. things. So, uh -huh. never mind. We teased you, but maybe in the future. Well, let me know when you do, and, uh, I will certainly show people. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should tease them now anyway, just, you know, because I'm a mean person. Do you want me to show mine? Do you want me to get mine? Uh, no, you'd have to like, get out of this whole cockpit you've got there. I'm just going to grab the one because it's very close. And that's this one. That one's fun. Which is, so Claire was very kind to let me borrow a pen. Uh, and she sent it in this wrap. And That is the cutest thing. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to get the wrap back. Uh, but it's this one. Look at this. That is so you, too. <laughs> right? I mean, it's just... Look at these flipping foxes. They got monocles. They got ties. They got mustaches. And the inside is just like... It just goes so well cool. with like the hats and the aesthetic. And the tartan and stuff. Yeah, super yeah. good. Uh, they have nice big big uh, pin slots. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she <laughs> sent this to me. I'm like, oh, man. Dapper I'm... foxes, yeah. Super dapper, right? And a special Rick roll, uh, rickshaw roll, roll on the way. Special Rick roll. I have one coming too that I had custom, so hopefully I'll be able to. I just got, or I just bought it the other day, so it's custom, so it'll take a yeah. few extra days. Um, yeah, so if you, uh, when Claire gets more of these made uh, at some point, um, you know, jump on them because they're all good. And their stitching yeah. is like super good too, it is I think. Super, like, yeah. It's very cleanly done. I'm, yeah. 
Yeah. And the fabrics are, you know, really high quality fabrics. <laughs> Never ran out of foxes to give. I don't know. Sometimes I'm straight out of foxes. Really? Yeah. You have zero foxes. Zero foxes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we all have a special Rickroll coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, happy Friday. Hey, mm -hmm. happy Friday to you as well. It's also National Bowtie Day, and I was going to wear a bow tie, and I forgot. I mean, you're going to go get pizza, so you can you can still do that. Put on a bow tie to go get pizza? Yep. Uh. I was going to have you stop at the grocery store while, I mean, right there as well. Oh. You can be out in public a little bit more. Well, all right. <laughs> Thank you, both. Uh, you're very welcome. I mean, you make cool stuff. Yeah, we have... If you make cool stuff, I will... Uh... I have multiples. <laughs> yeah. Well, she always manages when we see Claire at a pin we... show or something. She, she always yeah. manages to have some we yeah. can't let her have back. You have a face mask with foxes on it. That sounds dope. That does sound good. <laughs> Here comes the honeydew list. Well, I mean, there are some things we need. Like, we're pretty much yeah. out of bread and, like, your sodas and stuff like yeah. that, right? That's pretty much, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it's right across the street from the pizza place. <laughs> Keep the shorts? Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to... I'm not even going to put on a shirt with a collar. I'm just going to tie it oh, up yeah, here. Oh, yeah. Just on your... Like, yeah, what's just... the what's the stripper dudes with, like, the, the, the collars and oh. uh, bow ties? Chippendales. Oh, Chippendales. Yeah. That's right. Chippendales. <laughs> I don't not know if that's still a light. thing or not. Oh, it has to be. I'm sure. <laughs> it has to be. Julie has a, fo a mask with oh, foxes on it, too. I don't. Apparently, fox masks are all over the place. I'm jealous. Well... Yep, Chippendales, that's right. Enjoy the pizza. We're breaking in a new waffle iron breakfast oh, dinner. I breakfast do love waffles. For, I was just talking mm. about loving breakfast for dinner sometimes. Yeah, we totally do that. Yeah. Um, so we got some stuff. I'll just use this. Is there anything on here I can't show? No. I mean, my fingernail and finger is still hurting pretty From, bad. Let me see. Well, you can't see anything. Oh, okay. There's nothing to see. I do dig your nail polish, though. This Thank slate you. blue is very cool. Yeah. Uh, Mike, you need to come to the next show, Pin Show, dressed as a Chippendale dancer. Nobody wants to see that. That's not, no. <laughs> no, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Why would you do that to people? <laughs> I don't know. Next one will be a year. Maybe in a I year mean, I'll yeah, be, yeah. uh, yeah. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Um, so we went to Crazy Island's Emporium, like we were saying, on the way back from the other thing. Uh, oh, almost time to buy the noodles nail polish. That's right. We got to talk about your noodles nail polish. That's right. Go ahead and talk about that now. I haven't started anything. If you go to my blog, it actually has all the information. I put it up last night, so it has when, where, why, how, just all of it. You did write a, a whole dissertation there. I did. It's pretty long. I mean, you don't have to. If you just want to see pictures, I bolded when it's going coming out. Um, so I had a. Uh, Nail polish inspired by Vega and Altair oh. from Sailor. And it will be available on Monday at 5 p.m. on the Noodles Nail Polish site. So if you like nail polish, if you know somebody who does like nail polish, if you don't, that's fine. But that's that's where it is. Gotcha. It's based on the rotten ends on the, the Sailor. Yeah. Uh, actually, I can just show it. I don't know why I didn't. The first time I posted was actually this chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, there it is. Right there. Yeah. So this is a very nice looking pen. The Vega and Altair. Your pictures come through really well on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good Thanks. job. Uh, which is like the shimmery white and blue, but it's got yeah. these rodden ends. And the nail polish yeah. is really looking at that rodden, right? Yep. Yeah. And then it has some of the blue in the background. You can see that mm. she included that to tie it together. Yeah, to tie that together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So there you go. Check that out for sure. It's good stuff. Have you got one of the noodler, new 16 ounce bottles of noodlers? I don't. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't used any noodlers ink in a long time. I'm not even sure what noodlers ink I need to have. That What's the last it. one I used? Probably like Texas Blue Bonnet, which I like pretty well. I was gonna guess Pine Spruce Knob. Something. Oh, that's right. Was that's... that Noodlers? No, that wasn't Noodlers. That was uh, oh, Pepe was that Plume. Pepe? Shoot. Yeah. Then what's the other one? There was something that was like that for the Colorado show. That was Noodlers. Did I get the Colorado green. one? I don't know if it was not mm. this year, but maybe it's last year's. I don't remember. 350 mil pilot bottle? I don't have the 350 pilot Oof. bottles. Although, if I was going to buy a giant bottle of ink, that might be one of them. Like, Blue Black from Pilot is super good. And it does mm -hmm. come in the giant, like... You know, Huge. Yeah, it's like a liter or something. Yeah. So. 
Well, I don't know. What's 350 mil? Is that a liter? No, it's got to no. be even if it's a liter. Right? Is a liter metric? That's metric, yeah. Yeah. How many mils are in a liter? A thousand. A thousand. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why it's easy. I'm still finishing so my pot doing, of coffee. I was trying to convert this to ounces for you. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, a thousand milliliters equals yeah. liter. I, I just, I was having a brain cramp. I'm honestly still drinking coffee. It's... Yeah. It's been a day. Uh, Colorado show Noodler's Inc. was the odd yellow-brown thing. The year before that was purple. Oh, I don't think is. I have either of those. I did get a Noodler's from some show, though. Yeah. There was... It was one from a show. That was I it say Baltimore? Was... Baltimore might have had a Noodler's. But they had Colorverse this year. They had also Colorverse. Oh, did you get both? I think so. Oh. That might have been... I can't remember what it was, though. The soy sauce bottle. Yeah, exactly. That's mm. what it is. All right. So, um... So the reason I have this out, this is a, um, this is actually a Baron Fig pad, which I have the cover for right here. Um, this is the Mastermind Desk Grid, uh, sorry, Dot Grid Desk Pad, and this is the small version. I use the bigger version all the time, but it's it's bigger, like wow. obviously the bigger one's bigger. I don't know huh. if I told you about that. Um, this is the small one, and I don't really like the paper in this one that well. Like, yeah, I heard it sort of. It's it kind. Depends. It's kind of okay. It does pretty well, like pretty okay with fountain pen ink most of the time, but sometimes it just bleeds through and feathers. And I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, um, but it's okay. I if I use this for random stuff, it's fine. Yeah. Um, you see, there's like Esterbrook Camden stuff. This is a sneak a sneak peek. I will be having a review of the Esterbrook mm -hmm. Camden and the Journaler nib. Um, by Gina at uh, Custom Nib Studio very soon. Mm -hmm. I haven't yeah. I haven't edited it yet. I got to doing that today, and then I went, oh, no, I need to go mow and stuff. So and that's what those scribbles are for. So at Crazy Allen's, we found some... Oh, I have another thing. Don't let me forget to do this. Oh, Hold yeah, that's that. right. I, forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Uh, we got a couple of uh, new... or oh, not renew. A couple of Retro 51s. Uh, this one is called what? Leap. Leap. I always want to think of it as Eclipse. Um, and Audrey was... Did you really forget at that time, or are you just making a joke? I did. I've forgotten again. I cannot remember the name of this. It shouldn't be called The Leap. That's clearly a terrible, terrible idea. Um, I, I can't remember it. Um, she, in fact, right before the show... What's on the show? I don't remember. Um, it's like, uh, it's like North oh, that's right. South America North for South some America. reason. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. This is a weird pen. But Audrey really likes it. And I think it's got a nice, it's got a pleasing design. I just can't remember the name of it. Yeah. You have like these new moons, I guess, is what these are. Yeah, they had the Maybe. full moons and the different, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice looking pen. <laughs> right before we started filming, she's like, oh, where's that Leap pen? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, I could not. She's like, the Retro 51. I'm like, It's literally oh. right in front of you. It was literally yeah. in front of me. So there's that one. Um, and then we found this one, which is the Big Shot. And if you put these, like, if you look at it just in your hand, like, it's it's kind of stumpy looking. You're like, looking, oh, that's but, just a, yeah, you're like, oh, that's just a regular tornado. Next to the regular tornado, it is, it is a thick boy. <laughs> so... This is the big shot. This is the titanium one, and I have one over here that I can't get out to get at right now. But um, it's like titanium, like brushed titanium and rose gold. This is sort of a matte black titanium and gunmetal. Um, we found this one. And yeah, you were considering not getting it. I was like, I know it is twenty five dollars with ten percent off, and they're not making it anymore. Yeah, the right? price was the price was good. I don't know. I, whatever. Sometimes I get cheap. Uh, one liter of ink would be a heck of a spill. It certainly would be. Uh, don't mind uh, much a little bleed through here and there, but feathering takes you off. Dude, me too. I, I will take bleed over feather all day, every day. Um, so I got those. And then uh, I got this one because I hadn't ever used one of these. I've seen them a couple of times, but this is a Karan Osh 888. So it kind of matches my Karan Osh, uh, yeah. what is this? Now I got uh, 849. 849. Yeah. I actually it's, remembered that time. I, I'm always bad about remembering that. I remember that except when I've just said 888 because oh. they're so close, yeah. you know, and I like second guess myself. Uh, but it's a bigger, it's bigger, obviously, than the 849 and it's not metal, it's plastic. But yeah. I would say it weighs about the same. I would not be shocked. Yeah. Because, because that one, I, I, when I picked it up, I'm like, this is very back heavy. And Mike's like, what are you talking about? It's front heavy. No, it's actually really back for a ballpoint is surprisingly back heavy. I think what you have in your hand, it feels kind of balanced. Like it feels okay to me, and I like writing with it. It's got yeah. a, it's got a good, uh, good ballpoint refill. Very nice color of blue. Flows really well. I don't get blobs or anything. No like weird skips mm -hmm. or anything so far. Um, but this was like six bucks, and for six bucks, this is a great pen. I think. 
So Grand Ash eight 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 right there. Um, what else? Uh, what uh, order? Oh, this is the this is the fountain pen we got, which is a Kakuno. Audrey, uh, did you have a Kakuno? I do have a Kakuno. Yeah, she yeah. didn't have the transparent one though. No. Oh yeah, I want to look at the back of this. Yeah, it does have two holes in it. Yeah. I have seen people um, fill plug it with this epoxy or something. Right, plug it with epoxy or like hot glue or something. There's some oh, other really? thing that people yeah. use to hmm. close it, but um, so like you don't really want to eyedropper this. No. I wouldn't eyedropper it anyway. Like this would heat up immediately from your hand and just burp. I would think, yeah, but whatever. Funny, yeah. I think it looks pretty good with the with the cartridge in there. So she put a red cartridge in there. This is so yeah, the red. I really like the way that. You can see through the the, the section there. Mm -hmm. That does, pardon me, hiccups. Um, that does sort of worry people sometimes. Yeah, some people they, are bothered by that. They think there's something wrong with it or it's leaking. And yeah, yeah. It's just All your pens look like that. Yeah. It's just how a feed works. So don't worry about that. If you see that, it's cool. Yeah. If you fine. don't see ink in there, that probably means it's not going to flow well. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Once it got going, it really... It looks nice. Yeah. I wasn't too impressed with this ink to begin with. But I've really been good. using it on the the new Nagahara cards, so because it matches the chop really well. Yeah. What do you write on there? Do you write? Oh, you put your name and the. Not my name is. Um, I put the nib type and size. Oh, nib size. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a Kakuno, and these are like eleven bucks. It's a very good fountain pen for eleven bucks. Oh like, yeah. I mean. Uses the same nib as the Preras, which are way more expensive. Uses yeah. the same nib as the Metros, which are like three times the price now. Yeah. Um, and the Preras in the U.S. are like five times the price. Yeah. So for way less, you can get the same nib on a very nice little pen for eleven bucks. I mean, it's a student pen. It's fine. Yeah, it's perfectly good. Yeah. For yeah. A, a workhorse, it's fine. Yeah. And then these are actually, uh, Brad just put these on his blog, on The uh -huh. Pen Addict. He beat me. Oh, he did. I didn't know we were in a race, but he still beat yeah, me. Yeah, still beat you. <laughs> these are the Zebra Click Art pens right here, which are, uh, how thick is a section? Thin like a Metro? Uh, I'd say it's pretty comparable to a Metro. It might be thicker than a Metro, actually. I, it's been so long since I've used them. I don't think i own a metro i've given away to people yeah so I, I think i have one but it's, it's been somewhere. so long i, I think it's probably it. thicker than a metro the metro is small and perfectly round yeah. and this is very slightly triangular i don't even know it if you doesn't can... it's sort of yeah it has that sort of triangular like the the lami you can see the flat but sides. it's not as much yeah it doesn't come to a point up here it flattens out yeah, it doesn't here, bother so. me because i have that weird hand grip right it takes a con 70 it'll take all of them actually yeah, yeah so that's pretty good um, we just put a cartridge in here because she's got pilot cards. And they hold a lot of ink, so. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it's thicker than a than a Metro. And so, therefore, better. I think the, the section on the Metro is like the worst part about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like the Metro pretty well yeah. otherwise. The section's a little too small. But yeah, I think that's like a solid question. Sailor Shikiori uh, calligraphy pens? I don't... I have one of those. Mm. Uh... Uh... Where it at though? Mm, I'm not gonna find it right this sec. I've got it around though. It's around here somewhere. Oh wait, mm. is it in here? Nope. I've got one around. It's, they're really nice actually. Uh, but these are Zebra Click Arts. Let me take a little plug out of there. Um, you're supposed to actually not need the plug. Something about the ink is it should stay wet for a year. Oh wow. But hmm. which is surprising. Yeah. But. It's, uh, is you, can you even see it there? No, it doesn't even show up. But there's no, like, mechanism yeah, to keep this open. closed. It's just open, and it's a brush pen. Not a brush pen, but, like, a felt tip sort felt of situation. Tip, yeah. um, but I got the gray. There's actually a very nice gray. And it's not terribly thick. Like, I'm planning on taking notes and stuff with it. Mm -hmm. The Hoenichi not... store is selling the five pen sets. Five pens of these guys? Oh, of the Sailor Shikiori's? Oh, nice. I mean, I say go for it. They're really, they're probably pretty nice. And then the orange, I think, is a very good orange. So they're kind of, they're, I mean, they're markery, but. Um. When I watched your video, yes, I watched your videos. When you were using those, for some reason, it didn't show up right away after you were writing. And then all of a sudden it appeared. I don't know, the coloring was just super weird. Maybe, huh. is it just me? But yeah, you wrote, and I'm like, that's so light, I can't even read it. And then all of a sudden, after a second, I went, and it hmm. bloomed into, you know. I wonder if that says it dried. Like, I it might have know. been too shiny or something on the camera. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I've been having trouble with my camera lately. 
which is not great for me because mm. I do a lot of camera stuff. But yeah, so maybe there was some weird focus. Thing. I don't know, but yeah. maybe it was just with me. But yeah. I promise they work. Yeah. No, I, I noticed. I saw it right <laughs> yeah. away. Uh, and then I have this little sleechy, sleechy, slicky. I guess it could be slicky. I'm gonna call it sleechy because it sounds fun. Uh, but these are oh, little. Kevin also noticed it. Good. Well, not good. It's bad. Yeah. But I'm glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> you know, when I was editing it, maybe I looked away and was just like listening to audio or something. Or maybe I, I don't know. Man. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I mean, it just makes was me feel shocking. To makes me. me feel unprofessional. Uh, <laughs> I'm three quarters professional at best. Uh, it's, you get what you pay for. <laughs> so um, these are little gel pens, and they come in a variety of colors, like a really wide variety. And they also come in some weird uh, tip sizes. So this one obviously is a 0.8, um, which is a, I mean, a fairly wide mm -hmm. gel pen. They go up to like ones and sometimes bigger, but uh, I think it's just the way the light hit the wet ink. I think it probably was. But uh, they also come in like 0.2 or yeah. some such. 0.28 or something like that. That's probably right. I think they go down to like 0.18 is, is like the finest I've seen. I can't mm -hmm. remember if that was this kind or not, but those are too fine, like way too fine for me. Uh, but the point eight is actually very nice. It's got this like it's kind of a bronzy metallic, metallic yeah. color, which I think is pretty good. It doesn't actually say what color Foiled it is. Foiled look. This is bronze, it says. Yeah. Um, but this is actually pretty good. It's a little bit out of focus, unfortunately. There's a better spot maybe. But yeah, it's got a pretty nice gel. Pretty good. And those like these singles are like a buck fifty to maybe two fifty each, yeah. so not very much. Yeah. Um, that's one thing I love about Crazy Islands is all the singles. Singles are awesome. So, uh, and then I got a pair of these, which you're. Fr oh no, those are not the ones I was gonna say. Never mind. What were you gonna say? No, the the uh, the other two. The, uh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are some of my favorites though. So these are Sarasa Dries, and this is called the X One. And I think the only difference is it comes in a thicker body. The regular Sarasa Dries just come in the regular Sarasa yeah. body. Which is perfectly good. If you like a G2, you'll like the Sarasa better, probably. They don't look fancy or anything. These I mean, don't... They don't look very fancy, no. no. I don't think they're as good looking. Yeah. These are I mean, very... That's, it's fine. I'm just saying you can't always judge it by that, you know? Right. And... Yeah, these look... This is like a very old style now that I think about it. Like, this uh, looks like a pen from like 15 yeah, years it ago. it does. Well, yeah. You know? The color combo, it just... I don't know. It does look like that. Something about it does make it look old. You can kind of see the refill through this little window, so you'll know when you're getting low. It's full now, so it doesn't really show. It's like this little bubble at the top. Uh, but these are Zerasa Dries, and like the thing about them is that as soon as you write with them... Here, they're... you write it, and I'll do it as soon as... Where's your finger? Oh, we got seen. You managed yeah. to do it. I did. I, like... You had to have a second person, though. <laughs> you had to have a second person. It takes two people to smear these. Yep. Um, but yes, Zebra Sarasa dries. If you're a lefty or if you're a person that's... that just hates it when gel ink won't friggin' dry, because that, that is really annoying. Some gels just do, like... Yeah, I feel bad for lefties, you know? And yeah. That, that's why a lot of people the learn over, to get do the hook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the Sarasa dries are pretty good. Like, you had to smear it as it came out of the oh, pen, yeah. basically. But these are great. They come in a zillion colors. And this is, while it's kind of a dumb looking body, maybe, I don't think it's very attractive, but this is actually right. a very comfortable grip. Yeah, I mean, feels I'm nice. Not yeah, saying anything yeah, about yeah. it being. There's a cat right here. I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty comfortable. It's thicker yeah. and it's got like a nice thicker, it's rubbery very, thing. Very light still. Yeah, it's good stuff. So for a couple of bucks, totally worth it. I like those. Um, they have Daiso stores. No, they don't, unfortunately. Yeah, no, no I wish those are. I mean, last time I looked, they're only in Texas and California. Hmm. But maybe they've added more. I'm not sure. Yeah, we used to go and we go to the Dallas Pin Show. You heard the Muji stores are not going to reopen. Yeah, I've heard that mm. they went, um, they did bankruptcy, mm. uh, but I hadn't heard if they were going to open or not, which is too bad. Yeah. Um, although, also, I've never been to a Muji store. Wait, do we go to a Muji store in Dallas? Or is, is that it? also only Daiso? Well, there's some other store that we went to. No, they it's not that. No, they I don't have Muji in Texas. I store that is. Yeah. Um, I do have some Muji stuff from Kimberly. Mm. Uh, the pens were okay. I know that that, um, what's his name? Jonathan Draws or... Um, Peter Draws. Peter Draws, that's right. Uh, Peter Draws loves their fountain pen. I don't like it at all. It, the texture is horrible. But, you know, whatever. Uh, what sharpener do I have for my black wings? Um, I have two or three, actually. Um, my friend Anna at Well-Appointed Desk sent me a few. Yeah. 
So I have a few. I forgot. Oh, there's a cat there that's moving the camera. Sorry <laughs> about that. Um, one of them is a two-stage Blackwing, uh, and the other ones, I think there's a um, uh, um, Kum, K-U-M, or something like that is one, and then there's... Is that what that is? That's how I'm going to pronounce it, and then there's okay. some others, but... Had a great huge store across from the public library in New York City. That's yeah. too bad. Um, and the other one that she got is um, this Marvy calligraphy marker. Have you used this yet? I signed one card with it, and that was it. How'd that go? Uh, it was not great because of the <laughs> again signing you know warranty cards and stuff is very specific, so it's not always going to work with everything. So. It's got this like big chisel tip. Yeah. So. That's the uh, what is that a three? This is a three point five. Three point five millimeter. This is a big old marker. Yeah. Um, you're better at these giant like chisels than I am. Yeah, with so. your angle, it sort of doesn't. <laughs> My angle, it's bad. Yeah. yeah. And then I have two more that Katie decided she wanted to sit on. The Schneiders. Yeah, your favorite thing to the say. The Schneiders. These aren't Schneider sliders. No. These are Schneider Expresses. Um, so I have. Those are some intensely bright uh, green. Is this the Schneider? For documents. Yeah, this is the this is another Schneider that I have. This is the Schneider One Business, and this one is like a like a one of these weird rollerball things. So, are both? So is that German? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so weird. They German ballpoint companies really have a weird aesthetic. I'll oh, totally. It, like rotarying and stuff. Yeah. Like they sort of have a similar. I don't know what why i think similar but a weird aesthetic yeah yeah uh where do you hear me talking about pencils yeah i get it oh the pencils that's the other yeah, thing i yeah, got I there them. um so then i have this one which is the schneider schleider memo xb which really this is the thing that got me into schneider's mm -hmm. and schneider sliders that was the um, beginning of the schneider obsess obsession it kind of was um which is just this big chunky ballpoint um, but it's so it's just so darn smooth. It's a great ballpoint. Uh, and then these, which have the same aesthetic, just in a different color, I thought were going to be ballpoints. And then I take off the tip or I take off the cap, and it's a it's a porous point, yeah. which is like the espresso. I remember mm -hmm. you gave me one of those right after we start, first started dating, and like, yeah. it was pink. I think it was yeah. a bright pink espresso, and I ran the ink out of that thing. I never great. gave it back. I'm That's just, fine. I used to buy them in like yeah. 12 packs or 15 packs or something. Uh, those and the Pilot V razors and a few others. But yeah. Porous Point pens are really nice. Like if you think you'd want a rollerball and you can get a Porous Point instead, get yourself a Porous Point because yeah. they just, they're, they're better. They're actually really nice. Yeah. Um, but these are like a buck, maybe two bucks a piece. And these, I'm very impressed with these. I mean, yeah. they write really nicely. So there's those. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, pencils. I may have gotten some pencils. I know this is uh, I know this is weird, and it may make some of you uncomfortable to know that I bought pencils. Right. Uh, let's see. The ribbed, uh, is that one ribbed all the way to the tip? Yeah, almost. Uh, agree on Muji fountain pen being crap. You're not wrong, Carol. Portland, Oregon has a, has a great Muji store. Awesome. Hopefully they open up. I don't know. Um, tips are way too big for you. Which ones? The Schneiders. The Schneiders maybe, Greg. You tried the Schneider Gel Gelion? No, I haven't oh. used that. Is porous point the same as a fine liner? Uh, fine liners are a type of porous type, point. Yeah. Yeah. And do I have a fine liner around fine. here? Those. There's, there's one right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is a fine liner. It's actually a Stadler. Yeah. Pigment liner. They have the same kind of thing. Yeah. It's like a plastic tip, so it doesn't wear down like a felt one. Yeah. And like get bent and spread out like a felt. Yeah. Um, they're like a hard plastic, but they're porous. Yep. Same kind of thing. Same idea. This one, I don't remember loving, but this is a .3. This is okay, actually. It's not bad. It's actually working really well on this paper. Yeah. Maybe the paper is more Maybe absorbent yeah. than what I usually use it on. Yes. Um, but I got some black wings. They didn't have the era. No, no, they didn't have the era that I was talking about the other day. Because um, we looked all through the book. We spent so much time looking at black wings. You have no idea. I know. And then after he finally decided, we get up to the register, and they had the, sam the singles. And he's like... Nope. After all that time, screw it. We're getting yeah. singles instead. Well, if I don't have to decide on 12 yeah. of them at yeah. like 30, 25 or 30 bucks or whatever, I think the one I decided to get was like 23 or yeah, something, like the naturals or something. And then that was including the discount and stuff. Yeah, right. 
Um, and so then we got to the counter and yeah, they had singles. I'm like, obviously I'm getting singles. So I got the natural and which other one? And these two are the uh, extra firm core. I haven't sharpened these yet, actually. Um, these are the extra firm core. And then I've got the 42, which is like this baseball themed one. And I've got this uh, 840. And these are supposed to be like the normal core, which I think is what's in the, uh, uh, the Jackie Robinson. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Plus it had a 42 on it. And I can't not get a 42 thing, right? Yeah. Um, and these are, I think they share a core with the pearl which is a pretty soft core. Mm -hmm. They call it balanced, but it seems pretty soft yeah, to me. Balanced, yeah. And then the mat they call a, is like a soft, soft core. Yeah. Um, so I can't imagine that's going to last very long as a sharpened pen or a pencil. I mean, who wants soft core? Right. But it ought to, um, it ought to, it ought to leave a nice dark mark, which I'll be into. So I'll, uh, I'll sharpen these up at some point and show you my terrible sharpening skills. Um, I will tell you this. Pencil sharpeners have gotten more uh, uh, complicated than yeah. I remember. When I got this two-stage one from Anna, I couldn't figure... I was like, this thing won't give me a point. Like, it's just still square on the end. What the hell? This is a terrible pencil yeah, sharpener. Yeah, why did you give me this garbage? <laughs> this is a terrible... When you used both both sides, it's pretty good, actually. So. Yeah. If you do it the way that it's meant to be... <laughs> that's okay. right. Yeah. We got, a cat, we got a cat belly over here. That's what's, that's what's going on in front of me. So, yeah, we got a... This is a pretty... Pretty intense haul here from the uh, the Crazy Allen. And then we had a Lamy that Mike doesn't know where it is. Yeah, I put it. That's just fine. I'm just saying there was somewhere. one other fountain pen somewhere. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's too much of a mess right now. Uh, yeah, they gave us a Lamy. It was like a giveaway. Yeah. It was the USA one. It was red, white, and blue. You have one more thing to show. I do have one more thing to show. And um, it's a fountain pen. So if you are very bored by the gel pen, ballpoint, yeah. pencil talk. I'll get these out of your view so you don't have to see them anymore. Over here. <laughs> a separate mess. This I got from a, a dude on Instagram uh, who's calling himself Practical Pens. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Uh, let me find the Instagram, actually. Uh... I hope he has um, stock now. After you're showing, is he ready for you to actually show people? I don't know. Um, well, he's kind of making them to order, I think. Yeah. I can't find it on there. Let me uh -oh. see what it's called. It didn't come up on Google. He needs to work on his SEO, obviously. Um. Daniel Risk. We did not buy the $5,000 Pelican. No. No, I did not. There we go. Pittsburgh Penguins. What is this? It did not. Come on. Instagram. Yeah. So silly. Uh, apparently. <laughs> apparently, Nick Shabazz is going to be doing a heck of a giveaway. <laughs> Wow, I need to uh, figure out what he's giving away. All right. Yeah. Uh, hey, here, move your whole body, you weirdo. I know. Practical underscore. Yep. Yeah, practical pens. Daniel Risk. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's got all kinds of colors going now. Yeah. He's got this red one. Got this. That's pretty nice looking. He's looks like he's doing different. Um, different grooves and stuff. So the deal with these is they're all 3D printed. So this is like mine, essentially. It's very dark, but it has the shimmer in it. Yeah, it's like a super dark green. So it looks more green there than the one I have. Yeah. It's got some really bright lighting going on. Or else it just looks slightly different when he printed it. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but it looks like, looks like it is right there. Yeah, it's really, it's it's super dark green. Darker than, yeah, in that picture. So if you're expecting sort of a, a forest green, it's, it's like a blackened. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a black super that's dark. a little bit of green. You know what it reminds yeah. me of a little bit, and I should have inked it with this, is... Um, There's a certain, yeah, ink. I'm trying to think of what it is. Ricky Cha, it looks like to is me. Is it, you think? Or Epinard a little bit, but it's very, very dark. Mm -hmm. Almost brown, but it's got this nice shimmer, like glitter in there. It's knurled. And I think yeah. it actually prints that way. This isn't something he does afterwards. He does after. um, I mean, I would think 
that's the way, yeah. Yeah, it takes a number six Yovo nib. And so he was selling them without a Yovo nib or without a nib. And I'm like, I got, I got plenty. You could buy a nib, but like whatever. You can see in the top, you can see like the, like the, the way it goes around. Uh, FC Forest Black. Oh yeah, Black Forest would be pretty good in here. Yeah, yeah it looks kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, but it's got a nice flare yeah. at the bottom. The threads on mine are really clean. Um, I think our friend Kimberly said it's hers like needed a little bit of polishing. Like it was a little bit rough up here on the up edge there, and yeah, the threads are a little sure. bit rough. Um, so it needs to do a little bit more QC maybe, but like whatever, these are first round pens. I'm not going to gripe about it. I was, when I saw the pictures, I was unsure, not knowing the balance or mm. how it was going to feel with the texture on it. Yeah. I really like it. It's a really light pen. Um, I was worried, like, if it's really heavy, maybe it will, like, hit, like, move in my hand and sort of, like, rub it wrong, you know? Yeah. But no, I had no issues. It has a really nice sort of tactile feel to it. Becky says Diamine Solstice, and I think uh, that is a solid call. Is that the one we ordered? I think I that might be the one we remember. ordered. We I have think a, so. Oh, we that, have an order in with uh, LCDC, uh, Coron yeah. de Compte, and uh, that's, I mean, who knows if we'll ever get who it. Who knows but, when we'll get that. But yeah, this feels really good. The knurling is very nice. Yeah. Um, and the balance is good. It posts super well. And yeah, the like, section I was interested in seeing because it's a really nice clean section. It's not one of those ones that have half the thing. It's just a huge, huge section on it. You know? Yeah. It's, but I mean, because of, the, because of the knurling and the inside of this calf, like it really yeah. posts good. Yeah. And the cap is very light, so you can totally write with it posted. You tap and make that sound so they can actually know what it feels. Or it against itself. It's got a unique kind of... Yeah. I don't do a Sorry, lot of... Sorry, it always just tells yeah. me different plastics and things of yeah, yeah. what it's going to be like. But it closes in like half a half a turn. Like it's... Yeah. This is... I think he did a really good job on these, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next, so... Katie has been yeeted. She has indeed. Yeah. She was hunting and messing things up over there. Messing them up even more yeah. than usual. Carol, you are so nice. She uh, can nice I say, you guys, to say. wonderful to spend time with. And also a nice couple, laughter and treating each other kindly and grateful. Well, you're very welcome, oh. Carol. Thanks. So, I mean, we give each other a hard time a little bit. And some people yeah. don't know that's our sort of thing. And we're not. Yeah, yeah. We, we just joke around yeah, about yeah, yeah. things. And so they think that it's like, <laughs> oh, they're being. No, no we just laugh about stuff yeah so. mostly yeah. yeah yeah sometimes i'm a jerk just like i mean who isn't I yeah mean, but come on. Quarantine, audrey you know? never is she's always sweetness and light oh, oh yes yeah. that's that's me you know i think you're actually never actually mean to me i don't, I don't really if you are i don't notice so i you know. would just say i have more patience than you do i think so i yeah. you know if i'm really tired it all just or if i'm really <laughs> hungry and tired oh, hungry just is <laughs> throw it, just, it just throws it out because i just get i mean i'm hungry right now but i'm not hungry when She's i'm not at that hangry. level yeah i get hangry yeah. there have been some times when we, like, we've been driving yeah. somewhere she's like i'm hungry i was swerve into the nearest place that has no food. no it's like <laughs> do you have some, some snack on you so i try and have something that yeah. i can snack on because yeah. otherwise it's like no we're we're dealing with this situation <laughs> now yeah. <laughs> but yeah thank you very much yeah. i mean we do try to we try to be a good couple. Yeah. We care about each other a lot. Yeah. So, you know, it works out pretty well. She puts up with me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, hangry, scientifically proven to be a thing. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I get hangry. You don't get hangry. Like, Mike will physically be shaky and stuff and <laughs> when he hasn't eaten or yeah. sugar crash or mm -hmm. lack of sugar crash, I should say. And, yeah, you don't get angry about it. You're just more I don't get angry, but I might fall over. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's how he is. Yeah, I don't me, actually get like, hungry, so. I'll just get snippier than I normally am. And, again, I'm not yeah. normally snippy, but yeah, yeah. you know that something <laughs> else is going on there if, if I do. That's right. <laughs> Greg totally gets angry. Yeah. Uh, uh, wife's blood sugar just drops and she starts to get lightheaded. Yeah. I don't I, usually get lightheaded exactly. I 100% have. Where mm. I didn't almost pass out, but I just had to, like, like, I get really warm and just sort of, like, have to sit. And so I've had that happen before. And oh, yeah. It's definitely just a sugar yeah. crash. It's yeah. not anything else. Yeah. Well, Tina says our dynamic is, is sweet and authentic. Oh. Good job, Audrey. Good good job, Tina, for saying, and Carol, for saying That's super things. nice. Yeah. We appreciate it. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. So speaking of being hangry, it is like 6.30, and we had a lot of stuff to show this week. Yeah, we did. We had a lot of the unboxing. I'm a... super excited about the, the how, washi. How fun are these the washies? And, yeah. yeah. I'm going to really enjoy this pizza cat. I mean, this pizza cat is kind of uh, kind of my spirit animal. I Just think... like sitting there, kind of like, like a lump, which is pizza. Like, I think Katie sits like that, so it doesn't she look like nose. It, I mean, she legitimately it's white, does. Like Mr. Nose, but that's how Katie, I can imagine her, like, I couldn't imagine pizza being there and her not trying to eat it because mm. she'll want to eat anything, but. <laughs> Next it, time she sits like this, put a pizza on her and see yeah. what she does. <laughs> They had a black like, one that we could have gotten. I know. We'll have to get that next time. Be yeah. like, this really is Katie. Yeah. But uh, yeah, pizza cat indeed. <laughs> Your brain just crashes. Oh, mine. I haven't actually eaten today is another. Oh, Mike's thing is if he has to get up what he thinks is early. Noon. Yeah. We all know this is early. He doesn't have co- if he doesn't have coffee as soon as he gets up, mm. I just. That's not true. Within an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he doesn't have coffee within an hour of waking up, just forget about it. He's going to be angry. He's going to be complaining about everything. It's and not like, true. I'm I always... I will not blame anything about just not having his coffee. I mean, anything could happen. He's like, look, I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> this is a default. <laughs> How have I not had any food at all today? Uh, yeah, I... So... I have. I always eat No, breakfast. Audrey does. She's very good at this. But, like, also, I don't get hungry. And this has got to be a genetic thing. My dad does the same thing. But, like, I don't get hungry. And so I don't or think full. about... Or full. Yeah, I can just eat until I die or so. I don't know what happens. But, um, but yeah, I just... I don't get hungry. So I don't think about eating. And oftentimes I just don't. So, yeah. I know it's not good for my brain or whatever. Yeah. Like, it makes me a little bit fuzzy sometimes. But yeah. I just forget. And so I don't do it. Well, Emily I always, says same. Oh, maybe that's about coffee. It's probably the coffee thing. Yeah. I always tell them to have pre portion like snacks or yeah. like measuring out things. So, because if you don't know if you're hungry or full, then you can just at any time just be yeah. like, oh, I'm just going like, to keep eating. Yeah. And so having just things ready to go whenever you think about it, mm-hmm. which that's your problem is thinking portion about Portion control is, has or really. Or actually just putting it in your calendar, or, like setting an alarm and just be like, have, oh, have a bowl of cereal. Have a little, yeah, yeah, have a little something. Yeah, we actually have some bowls that hold just about a cup of cereal, which is really nice. Yeah. So I just like, I'll just do, do that. It. And yeah. that's, that helps me portion control and stuff. Yep, Katie is back. I got a messed up food signaling pathway. Yeah. I mean, it's fine, mostly. I just forget to eat. And I don't, I don't get hungry. <laughs> which is fine, mostly. Like, it doesn't really... I mean, my stomach's sitting here growling. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, it just doesn't really bother me until I actually run out of all the carbs or whatever. And then I just, like, crash. Yeah. I'll be okay, but I just like I'm like oh no now I have to eat. Yeah. So like subscribe pizza. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like in the past, some people have sent me money for pizza on Fridays. And we one hundred percent actually use <laughs> absolutely use pizza. that for pizza. And so well, like, as we're sitting there eating the pizza, well, like thanks whoever who yeah. gave it, and they actually say well, thank you to the people yeah. while we're eating it. I think the last one was uh, Dimacar. Oh, maybe it was him or Jonathan Brooks. I don't remember. Oh, Jonathan Brooks was maybe the last one. Yeah, yeah that's but true. It was right around yeah. the same time. So that's super nice. And thank yeah. you all. Of, uh, thank you to all of you who Even are just patrons and coming stuff. Coming by and just, you know, hanging out, you know? Yeah, there's like 76 people on right How now, which is, still- I don't know. That seems, uh, oh, yeah, that's what he's, oh, somebody actually said it in the chat. Nick is, um, Nick Shabazz is my favorite, like, knife reviewer. And uh, one of the things that he does is he does, uh, he gets a lot of knives and stuff as samples for review. And then he doesn't really keep them most of the time. He'll do a giveaway. And the way that you usually enter is you give money to your local domestic Shoot. violence shelter. Yeah, that's right. And then like send him a receipt and he'll like enter you in the drawing. So I may have to do that. I think that's a, I think it's a fantastic way to do things. Yeah. Just. So you're going to get something out of potentially. Maybe. And then somebody actually in need. Yeah is getting something out of it too oh you know there was a um there was another thing like that that somebody did out in california that um if you give uh uh, uh 10 bucks or whatever to the spca and send them mm-hmm. a thing and i did it was like an entry to a, yeah. a knife drawing i guess i didn't win because i didn't but animals anyway. but yeah <laughs> right it's like helping out animals who are like homeless because of the yeah. giant fires right oh yeah so yeah. yeah so i love doing stuff like that i think it's really cool Food too, yeah. That's right. Food too sometimes. Hi. Hi there. So anyway, we're going to sign off. I'm going to go to the store and get some uh, get some of our favorite pizza. Yes. Mimi's Pizza. Um, if you're ever in uh, 
like this very small area we live in. It is best pizza. Very good, delicious. Super and the good. owner knows us. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've been going there for years and we've moved. We used to live right. Man, it was oh. so nice when we lived right down the road from it. it. And just literally, what do we say, like a mile, maybe two miles? Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And it, we went there all the time, so we got to know us. And then we moved. Now we're like 10 miles away or so. Yeah, it takes probably about 15 minutes to get there. Yeah. So it's too far from them deliver. to deliver. And so, so I just drive out there because yeah. it's super good. I actually turn on the seat warmers. That's the way to do it. <laughs> or I'll bring a blanket and wrap yeah. it around the pizza. So, yeah. All right. So I'm going to get some pizza and stuff. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Wear a mask uh, and a bow tie. Oh, yeah. You yeah, so, yeah, do that. I had forgotten about the mask thing already. Mm. I need more food, I guess. Mm. See us next time? Yeah, totally. And the next yeah. time might be Sunday. We'll... It might be Sunday. So I wonder how many subscribers will we lose this time. Honestly, <laughs> we I do. This is a joke between Audrey and I that I don't really say on the air much. I don't know if I actually have said it on the air. But mm. uh, but yeah, every time that Audrey and I do one of those um, uh, Universal Yums treat like so once a month streams. at least we like, you yeah. have a spike of lost followers yeah a bunch of people leave the channel they're like this guy's eating snacks i'm not out. interested um so like look if you don't want to watch that cool <laughs> it's weird to unsubscribe for but whatever you do you um but yeah thanks very much and do uh if you uh if you're watching and you're not subscribed for some reason like go ahead and subscribe because that helps hit people wherever it is hit the hit the like thing that helps people find the yeah. my channel and since i don't do really ad revenue i don't think youtube shows my channel as much that's our, yeah. that's our suspicion, but uh, yeah, like, comment, uh, subscribe, uh, tell a friend, or whatever, and uh, we'll see you probably on Sunday. Also, maybe tomorrow I'll try to do my Lego thing oh, on Twitch. Oh, okay. Um, let me... Oh, then there's the Twitch. Do you have the Twitch open? No, I don't have it oh. up there. Um, if you don't have Twitch, it's free. You can watch different streamers, again, Mike does videos, he does Lego things and just random things on there. Sometimes we'll do a um a Lego or Lego part. Lego parties where you just said Mario Party yeah. together and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So. so I play video games over there and I'll probably like build Legos and stuff there. But twitch.tv slash ink dependence mike is me. It's like this, um, but on Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is a slightly different just platform and like the thing about Twitch is that they I'm don't sure it's easier. Uh, it's easier to use, yeah. but they also don't tell anybody about your streams. So, like, the weird thing about Twitch is you have to bring people from outside the service because they're not going to help anyone find your stuff at all. Like, they just yeah. don't. Whoa, what'd you do? <laughs> Katie. Katie. Katie's poking buttons. All right, that's it. We're really leaving this time. Yes. Uh, think about what you put out in the world. Make it a better place. Wear a mask and a bow tie. Say uh, goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I got it in. I, I think you were going to say something else, Mike. Nope. No, you, you really you did. You got it in. Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs>